today we are bringing to you a, I guess, a collective haul that we have going on here. It's a little bit of beauty products, some clothing, and what else? I think that's it. So if you want to see what we got in this little haul for you, then just keep watching. Okay, so the first place, um, I have a few items from the store. It's Lush, and the first item is the Ocean Salt, which is like this. I've already opened it and used it a couple of times, but it's not. <laughs> it smells so good. Uh, it smells pretty much like the ocean with a little bit of a citrusy, um, I guess, scent to it. It's both, it's, you can, it can be used both for your face and your body. It's a really good and kind of rough exfoliator. I wouldn't recommend it every single day, um, but it is good to scrub your body or your face just to get all that stuff out. So yeah, this is the first product. It's, I think, one of their best sellers from Lush. It's the Lush Ocean Salt. How much is it? This was... $15 and it's a little jug like this and I just noticed on the packaging it says we bring back five clean um, little tubs of this you get a free uh, full-size face mask so remember to keep these little things collect them <laughs> okay and then uh, what I got well clothing wise I got uh, I bought this crop top for fall looks like this. It has like a um, kind of like a gray black undertone to it. It's like a mix with burgundy. I don't know if you can tell on camera. It's really pretty. And it's like a thin sweater material. Um, the brand is called Michelle. I um, didn't get it from a store. <laughs> I got it from uh, my local, uh, it's kind of like a flea market. Could say and it was only five dollars and it's really really pretty so I'm really looking forward to wearing this this fall with a dark lip it's really cute yeah so there you go oh and it's in a size this is the size large so there you are the next product also from Lush is the I don't know how to pronounce this the mask of mag magnet mag magnamenti there you go Okay, so pretty much it was like this, and it's a mask to just detox your face. You apply it once a week, and it smells how would you describe this? like like mint, like gum. It's a pretty much. It has a really, I mean, nice smell considering. Yeah, it looks like that, and you just apply it all over your face. Leave it on for about five to ten minutes, and it's supposed to just take everything bad out of your skin. Um, this is recommended to be used once a week and, and it's also, I believe, one of their best sellers from Lush, so I'm giving this a try. Okay, and then for my next item of clothing, uh, it's the same brand, Michelle, and it's also a crop top. Just a little heads up, all I buy is crop tops. <laughs> so I don't own any full length tops, like all I do is crop tops. And it's kind of a white stripe sheer crop top. And what's been really trending this winter, oh, like winter, yeah, winter, it's, it's like a see-through kind of meshy material and you wear it with like a dark bra so you can purposely see your bra. This would be cute. Um, I think this one is in a medium. It was only $5. It was so cheap. That's one of the reasons I got it. So the last item from Lush is my all-time favorite, and I've purchased this so many times. I don't use it on a daily basis, but it's the brand, I mean, it's the, um, the soap Sultana. And this, I, I like I said, I don't use it every single day. I haven't even used it at all. But it's, I don't even know what the ingredients are. Let me just show you. It's really buttery. I know it has kind of like raisins and but it smells so so good. It's, you can't really describe the smell. It's, it's different. Yeah, I've never had a smell like this, and it's just so. Once when you take a shower with this, your whole shower and restroom and everything smells just like this. So 
Grammar and Lush, go ahead and try the Sultana. It's really, really good. <laughs> okay, so my next item is a crop top. It's um, a burgundy. It, it's in the velvet material. Velvet's also really in this fall slash winter. So it's pretty much it's the same thing. Let me see. There we go. If you flip it around, same thing as well. What would you wear this with? Oh, I don't know. Probably some black high-waisted pants. Something. This is more to wear for like Christmas or to like a holiday party. It's really pretty. It's uh, by the brand. Um, Violet? No. Cotton candy. So. Cotton candy. And I also got it at a flea market. It was only five dollars. And, um, but I do know, I saw this on Instagram, uh, they sell some at Laura's Boutique, the exact same things, velvet, they probably have more colors as well, and, um, so if you want, like, are thinking about buying this, oops, <laughs> here we go, you can go to laurasboutique.com, I know they sometimes have some clothes there, not a lot, if not, just Laura's Boutique and I'm sure you'll find this and I also got it in uh, black there we go so it's that velvet material as well I don't know if you can that the camera picks that up and let me tell you something do not do velvet on velvet or at least <laughs> uh, <laughs> like this with the some velvet pants please don't do that that's like a major fashion no no don't do it so just like velvet and a different kind of material, like anything but velvet on velvet. And it's by the same brand, Cotton Candy. And now this product, which I have been wanting for such, such a long time because of all the rave about them, and they are the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. And so these are the Makeup Geek eyeshadows. As you can tell, I went with mostly neutrals and a few of the, um, I guess, shimmery, um, coppery colors. Uh, the colors that I got are Barcelona Beach, which is this matte gray color. So this is Barcelona Beach, and this one is a Latte, which is a little bit more of on the brown side. It's a matte brown shade. One of my favorite colors is Cosmopolitan. It's so pretty. This one is Goddess. It's a little bit warmer than Cosmo. And with the MAC one, how exactly, for those who don't know out there, how do you take them out? of their original from MAC. Yeah. Well, they sell them in a pan and you can you don't have to necessarily buy the MAC palette. You can buy one of these Z palettes and this is in the size large and you can fit, I believe it's 24 shadows in here and they don't necessarily have to be all MAC. I have MAC and Makeup Geek in here together and they are magnetic and if even if you don't have um, shades that are magnetic, do the test. They come with a little strip to attach to the back of the eyeshadow so you can make anything and put them into here. Especially if you travel, it's great to just put all your favorite colors. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to swatch all of them, but my favorite one is, I believe it's Chickadee. Yeah, it matches the sweater. And it's such a cute and pretty color. This would be great to put in your crease. Um, yeah, so this is so pretty. And these are the shadows that I got. I'll list all of them down below. There were a few that I wanted that I didn't get because they were sold out. They sell out quite quickly on the Makeup Geek um, website. So if you want one, you have to get it then and there. But they are pretty affordable. Um, I believe they're only $5.99 per um, pan. And they're a little bit bigger than the MAC eyeshadows. And they work just as well, if not even better. Um, so yeah, I would really recommend these. I was really looking forward to them, and I finally got my hands on them. So, again, um, shout out to who? Oh, shout out to my boyfriend who got them for me for 
for my birthday. Thank you. <laughs> okay, next for me, um, it's a moisturizer I purchased from Sephora, and it's the Fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Face Cream, and it's this one I, I got a little sample of it from Sephora, and I really liked it because it doesn't have any SPF, so it can be used both during the day and night, and I don't think it has a scent. It has a slight scent, but it's nothing that's going to be too over... strong scent at all. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's great. I have an oily T-zone and then a little bit more dry around my chin and neck area. So I do like it. You can just lightly apply it and it moisturizes very, very, very well. I love it. Is it anti-aging? No. What is it for? Super 7 Complex. So, just so it is. It's a youth preserve face cream. So get really those good. wrinkles out of your way. <laughs> okay, so uh, my next product is uh, the Jordana Lip Liner. It's, I just got a refill because I always like to have like extras. It's in the shade Tawny. It's what I'm wearing right now. Let me go ahead and swatch it for you. So cute. And I think that's so in right now for fall for um, girls just using a lip liner as a lipstick. They just um, line their lips and fill them in, and that's pretty much your lipstick, right? Yeah, and a lot of people have been into the whole Kylie Jenner lip, and I personally think this is the shade, if not just a little bit darker. I've been using Jordana uh, lip liners for, I want to say, probably exactly one year now, and they've been so good. I Before, I used the um, the Wet n' Wild Mega, Mega Last or something like that. And they're really good, don't get me wrong, but uh, the Jordana lip liners are more matte. And that's what I'm looking for, like a more matte tone finish to it. So Tawny and uh, Jordana Cosmetics. I usually get them at Walgreens. That's I think that's the only place that How sells much are them. They? they are about, I would say $2 each. They're really good. And are they long lasting? They last you the entire day. So get them, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, now for me, I had been eyeing this little lipstick for a while, and it's the YSL in the number 13. And it's like an orangey lipstick. It's what I'm wearing today on my lips. And I guess it's more. So So it's really, it's not one of their more, I guess, saturated lip colors. It's a little bit more sheer, but it is really, really pretty and really beautiful. And I love this little one. And it's my first ever YSL lipstick. Price. I think this was probably too short. <laughs> I think it was 20, between 25 to 35 in that range. So. Okay, and my next project is a Jordana Cosmetic as well. Um, it's also a lip liner. It's in the shade uh, Rockin' Rose. It's still in the packaging, so I'm going to have a little assistant with my sister because I have nails and I can't open it. And this shade, it's a little more... Uh, it's kind of like the tawny, except I would say it would go like down a shade, like into the more brown kind of tone to it. Let me go ahead and open it for you. So, let's see, there you have it, and then let me swatch it for you. So this one is the tawny, and then I'm going to draw one below. Oh, I like that one. It has kind of like a purple tint to it, like an undertone. Yeah. So this is Rock and Rose, so if you like that shade better than Tawny. So for my next and final one was, um, or is this little, I guess, cardigan from Forever 21. And it's just like this. I don't know if you would consider it a waterfall cardigan. It's just straight. 
it's really cute and I love this color for fall like the mustardy color I think it looks really good on tan or darker skin tones even, I think on everybody but specifically on a little bit more tan um, girls and this is in a size medium and it was only $14.80 so I think it's going to be a really cute little staple for the fall and I love this color and then my next one so I'm just going to go on this little Jordana haul. <laughs> uh, this is actually a eyeliner, but I purposely got it as something for my lips. It's uh, in the shade uh, Brown Suede. So, there you go. And I, I want to use it as a lip product. You can use it as an eyeliner. You can probably even use it as to shade in your eyebrows too, but I'm going to use it uh, something for my lips. I know I know it's gonna be a little dark, but I don't care. Like so let's swatch it. So it's the bottom one right there. It's not too dark. I've seen a few uh, lipsticks which are going dark brown into black. So why not just try it? Yeah, so I'm gonna use this as a uh, lip product. So let's see how that works. And then uh, the last lip product from Jordana I have is the Bright Color Red, Sedona Red is what it's called. So this is, ooh, this is the shade, the red shade. And let me swatch it for you. Oh, that's really vibrant red. It's more on the cool side, I think, on the cool side of the red. So let me see. There you go. Oh, let me see your I think it's more on the cooler side, so it has more of the blue undertones, which is great for making your teeth look brighter and whiter. <laughs> yes, so Sedona Red, if you want to check that out at your uh, local Walgreens, it's really, really pretty. And last but not least, um, this is a eyeliner. I will be using this, <laughs> this as an eyeliner. Uh, it's, uh, the, it's in the color Sterling Blue. And uh, I went into Sephora a couple months ago, and then I saw this lady that worked there who had a uh, blue eyeliner, and it looked so pretty on her, like really pretty on her, so I always wanted to try it out, and finally I got around to buying a blue eyeliner, but I haven't even opened it, so I hope it's a nice shade. Let's see. Yes, this is really pretty. So I would use this under my eye, not over. I would use it under. You can also use it on top to kind of wing it out and give it a little pop of color. There you go. Yeah, so this lady at Sephora, I, I didn't even ask her, so <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure it wasn't Jordana, but um, I'll be using this. I don't know what lip I would probably use. Maybe a with the, Yeah, probably something I'm, what I'm wearing right now, something a little more torn down. Yeah, because you don't want to outdo the blue from your face makeup. So, yes, I'm really excited to use this. At the same time, I'm really scared because I don't know how it's going to look. I hope I don't look like a clown or something. So, so that is it, I believe, right? Yeah, that completes our mini little haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it and liked some of the items and let us know if you do try any of these um yeah so let us know what you think or if you even own any of these products and let us know if they're any good if you have any of the makeup any of the lush products please tell us and your review on them or tell us some of the probably some of new uh, lip things that I can try out because I'm really into lipsticks right now. Or any new colors, especially for fall. I'm looking into getting like a deep plum matte lipstick, which I haven't found the perfect shade for yet. So if you guys have any suggestions or anything, you can just let us know and that would be very helpful. Mm -hmm. So thank you again for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Bye!